this is the Best Buy dumpster. It's, it's got me. Still, it's, it's gotten Frugal Daddy. He's going in. It's, and so, well, let's just see what they have. Yeah, it's still kind of locked, but we're just trying to... It's got some kind of fake plant. <gasps> Twinkies! Look, you're rewarded with treat. Tw oh, more Twinkies. Or Trinkies, as with I think I just me. called them. Earbuds? We got some earbuds on the ground. They might... They're Bluetooth earbuds. These Best Buy dumpsters, not Best Buy, what am I saying? What's this place called? Big Lots. These Big Lots dumpsters used to be the best, but then they started locking them. And I'm waiting for somebody oh my God, to- like 100 spatulas in this one. 100 spatulas. Oh, look, a little, oh, one of Daddy's favorite like movies. Daddy, did you see this? this is from Christmas Vacation. It's a moose head cookie reindeer thing. I was telling for little daddy the other day, I was hoping that somebody would come, not us, but somebody would come and, you know, break the lock on this, but it hasn't happened yet. And this was $5, a plastic Snoopy head cookie cutter. Oh, lots of Christmas stuff that we don't need, but we'll donate. Ooh, a spatula. Oh my God. A spatula with Chevy Chase on it. Good job, good job. Oh my gosh, what's all that? La 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 la. There's probably a fa. Fa la 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 la. Get that, I like the snowmen. There's more. Oh, look, that's cute. I can't believe Christmas Vacation is like one of your favorite movies, and we have Chevy Chase Christmas Vacation spatulas now. Ooh, look. Ooh, look. Well, this is the time of year to get all your Christmas stuff while it's on sale or in the dumpster. Does those smell like cinnamon? Oh, they do. Those are cinnamon. Now he's dropping stuff on my head. Oh, those are so cute. La 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 la. Next year we can have a tree dedicated just to dumpster found decorations. Ooh. These are good treats to bring up to a homeless shelter or soup kitchen or something. Not for us to eat though. Oh no no. Not because we don't love them. I'm not dissing them. God knows I could eat this whole box in about five seconds. But it's just, we, we just can't. We can't. All right. Oh, I think we better go. Okay, garbage man's coming. Oop, garbage man's coming. Oop, time to go. I kind of want to see if the garbage man has the key to that lock, though. How's he going to unlock it? I'm going to turn around. Oh, my God. What's he doing? What's happening? There he is. Hi. Hi, garbage guy. Do you have to go into the store to get them to come out and uh, unlock it? No. If today's garbage day, they should have been unlocked already. Oh. Now let's go see if we can get some free food. Woo woo. Those are, um... Bluetooth earbuds. I know. We don't have Bluetooth, though. Yes, we do. Oh, okay, we do. Whatever Bluetooth is, I don't know. Okay. It's, it's on that phone. You can... Oh, you know what? I was confusing Bluetooth with Blu-ray, which we don't have. No. Right? Onward to free food. Onward to free food. We're getting free food. da 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 da, -da. Let's sing 99 Luft Balloons by Nana. That was a good song. That was of the same era. 99 Luft Balloons. La 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 la. La 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 la. I think the dumpster's empty. Say goodbye. There should be garbage in this dumpster because I say so. Oh yes, there is. I don't know if it's any good garbage, but it's garbage. No, there's garbage. I can't tell if it's good garbage. We have to dig around a little bit. I don't know. What do you think? There's a cookie right down there, a vanilla Oreo. Oh, good. Yeah. And there's a grape. And there are a couple blackberries laying in some broken egg goo. You want me to jump in and dig through real quick? Because I feel is, like I feel like it's a dig is through. This strangest. There's a, a card. Well, maybe there's they're actually card. starting to donate. Maybe they're donating all their bad food now, except for that cookie. I'll give you a dollar to eat that cookie. It's laying right on top. It's obviously clean. There's a card. Okay, look at this. This is a bag of granola. This is worth jumping in a dumpster for. I love granola. Yeah, there's a card right there under the black. No, keep going back. Keep going back. Keep going back. It's, yeah, down, down. Now move that to the side. To, to your right side. No, it's below that bag. It's right under that bag. Right under. It's under the black bag and the white, white oh, clear bag you that just was the had. Oh, it's cold. Come on, listen. The white bag, you clear bag you just had on your left. Yeah, move that. There's a card under it. Right there. Right there. Right by the blue thing. Yes. Put the blue thing down. To your. It's right to your left. 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 Right there. I thought you meant like a greeting card. It's an Aldi card. Yeah, because I, because I really want to. <laughs> Shh. 
Sharp cheddar. Ooh, isn't it worth it? Oh, yeah. Look. Yep. I'm excited about that. Oh, that's good. That salmon looks good. Okay. Oh, there's a cake. A cake. <gasps> ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cake, banana, yeah. Strawberry. Yeah, I wouldn't normally oh. save those. Yeah. Look at that. Good. Dumpster doesn't. Yeah, because yeah. Um, yeah, we only have like, one or two eggs left. Look, it's a cream We should make something that requires cream cheese frosting. Yeah. Like, you'd love that. Coconut cake. Yeah. Oh, there's a perfectly good pickle. I know, I've seen pickles all over the place. We're not gonna... Blind bag. With stuff, with, with stuff on. I think I already looked at this one. It smells like fish. There's a, there's another, um, right there, right there. No, uh, it's cream cheese, cream cheese under the white net. Pull the net, pull the white net. There. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, you dumped a whole bunch of gallas. Oh, good, good, good job. A random carrot. If we had a pet rabbit, we have a rabbit cage. We have a rabbit cage. Yeah. All right, let's go find we're, a rabbit. We're probably gonna it. find a rabbit. We can find a wound. <gasps> oh, chocolate covered yeah. Look at that. Oh, this turned out so much better than this stuff. Are those chicken nuggets? It's empty. It's not empty. There's it's just three left. Oh, God, there's another random pickle. Let me put stuff away. Oh, 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 oh yeah. It's a codfish. Oh my god, you said you needed oh, chocolate. Oh, it's chocolate. Expected. Ten times better. I know, because when you first look in, I literally saw nothing. I, li I mean, nothing. And just a little bit of digging around, rip open a couple of bags, cream cheese, cheese, donuts, fruit, a carrot, chocolate almond milk, which we can use to make cocoa for the girls. It's something you would run out to the store for. Yes. I have like ten yes. things I gotta go get. Right. You would, yes, absolutely. I would run to the store just to get a box of granola, and we just got two of them <laughs> yeah. for free. And I really love granola, nice yes. Good. And the eggs, we got yeah, eggs. We got 11 eggs. Yep. We're actually low on eggs. I mean, well, yeah. we only have two dozen in the fridge right now, which is really low for us, because usually we have about two shelves just full of eggs. Is that, your, is that on me or you? It's on you. Oh. Well, oh. I, wanted to, <laughs> oh. I wanted to say the reason we're low on eggs is because I've been making waffles with our $200 waffle maker. That we pulled yeah, out of a dumpster. Should we show that when we get home? Because that oh, hasn't been girls, in any video. I love it. Really? Yeah. I did a video on that. Guys, I it was a tragedy. We had this huge... I don't think I've told you this yet, Frugal Dad. Get ready for tragedy. This huge video, this dumpster haul we got. It was a dumpster near Trader Joe's. And I think this lady had maybe died and somebody cleaned out her apartment and we got all her amazing stuff. And it was a good half hour long video. Oh, I mean, God, it was, was so... Good much Wait. stuff. I know we got the IBM laptop, we got the brand new Fitbit, we got hand weights for getting, let's get physical, yeah. physical. Under oh, the, yeah. Under the bed uh, storage. Bin. Oh, purses, clothes. Oh, really good clothes. This woman was tiny. We got all oh, those yeah. like yeah, size like two nice. petite like Talbots and Talbots and, and yeah, uh, black market white house, whatever that store is. Oh yeah, all sorts of stuff. So is this amazing video. Don't you wish you'd seen it? Where's that video, mommy? Oh, I don't know. After spending an entire day editing it on my computer, I lost it. I lost the whole freaking thing. And that sent me into a tailspin of despair. So I just did some comfort eating and then something? went to bed. No. Oh, well, that day. Yeah. 
it was awful. We got amazing stuff, but including that two hundred dollar waffle maker that Daddy used. Yes, we're back to waffles yeah. that you used to make waffles for the girls. All clad. It is amazing. Yeah. No way in my wildest dreams would I spend two hundred dollars on it. On a waffle maker? Oh yeah. no way. It was from. Um, Where's, what's that really nice place? Macy's, uh, Bloomingdale's, no, no, Bed Bath and Beyond. The the kitchen stuff. Um, 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 I know yeah, what you're talking about. Name, William um, Sonoma. William Sonoma, yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say Crate and Sonoma. God, it's beautiful. I love William Sonoma. Yeah. When we used to go That's wander funny. through malls and yeah. worship material possessions, I loved going through William Sonoma and just looking at the stuff I couldn't afford to get, but just thought, if I could get this, if my kitchen was stocked with all of this, I would be happy and complete as a human being. Yeah. And you know what we'd come out with? A $4, spatula. $4, yeah, $4 a $4 sponge. Of, you know, uh, those uh, cup, cupcake cups. The silicone, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, silicone cupcake cups. We found money in that dumpster hall. Do you remember that? Yeah, there was cash. Yeah, there was yeah. dollar bill. I kept one purse. I donated the others. I can show you the hand weights. Daddy will show you how to properly lift the weights because the way I was doing it was something that would permanently damage your back and neck. I mean, some of them are heavy. We are back where we began. It does look like it's empty. It's empty. So someone came, unlocked it, the garbage truck emptied it, and then they locked it again. So we came just at the right moment. But that means we could have very easily been caught by the employee coming out to unlock it. Right. And that would have been bad. Hey, did you all hear about the dumpster in Dayton, Ohio, where a dumpster diver found the body of a dead female? Isn't that horrible? And I fully expect that to happen to us someday. At least a severed head, maybe not a full dead body. But I, I just, I know, I know it's gonna happen. At and what do you mean at least a severed I'd rather find a dead body than, than a severed head. head. I know, can you imagine God, reaching in and saying, oh, what is this, a wig? And you pull up a severed head. You know what I kind of want to find in a dumpster? This is going to sound weird. Work with me. I want to find a baby. Now, oh. not because I want someone to put a baby in a dumpster. I absolutely do not advocate for that. I don't want anybody to put a baby in a dumpster. But I'm just saying, if someone does put a baby in a dumpster because they didn't watch this video and heed my warning, I want to find it. I want to rescue that baby. If there's a baby in the dumpster, I want to rescue it. I don't want a baby to get thrown away. What are you going to do with it? Keep it. I'm going to keep that baby. Because obviously it will have meant to be mine. If I rescue a dumpster baby, that's my baby. That's I a really cute idea. It. But... It's a really psychotic <laughs> idea. Okay. Remember I was here the other day and the door on the other side was not locked. And oh, it's not? because it's, It wasn't. It wasn't locked the other day. Well, it's locked now, but Holy, lots of balls. we can, oh my God, look at all the mangoes. What's all that crap all over everything? Look at the cookies. Oh, there's a lot of cookies. There's a lot of stuff. I know, there's cookies, cookies, crackers. It always blows my mind when stores are really super committed to making sure food ends up in the landfill, where it can biodegrade, decompose, whatever it does, break down anaerobically, not aerobically, creating methane gas, which is the worst, 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 worst. Okay, there's the daddy, there's the grabber. Crackers, crackers, yes. That's a full unopened box. June 1st, 2020. All right, try to get some of the chocolate cookies if you can. Because the homeless people love sweets, and I don't blame them. Because who doesn't, after all? It's cheese. Like a giant salad. Well, more evidence that we should get a rabbit. Um, that looks a little on the gooey the side. That looks nasty. Right, I'm there. taking this box to the car. Some would ask, since they locked the side of the dumpster, is this then trespassing to get stuff out of the dumpster? But if they've left the lids wide open, like, I don't know. I don't know how to answer that question. But I know that righteousness is on our side because we're rescuing food. And that's a seriously righteous pursuit. And washing water. Yep. I love getting those bottles of water. All right, good. Good, good, good. Good enough. Good job, good job. Ooh. You guys haven't seen Frugal Daddy at work with the grabber lately. You're a deft hand with a grabber. Whole wheat tortillas. <gasps> with that cheddar cheese we got at the other dumpster and these, we could make some nice, healthy whole wheat quesadillas for dinner. All right. Seriously, time to go, Dwayne. I can't stop. I'm going. I'm leaving. I'm walking away. What is that? Uh, donut sticks. All right. Good job. Let's go. Let's go while we can. You know, we've had our kittens almost a year now. 
It's, it's time like for forever. new ones. It's time to get new kittens. It's like forever. They've been with us forever. What was our life like before then? Before we had that one attack kitten who likes to just rip my face apart, particularly my nose. We didn't have plants knocked down all over the place with broken glass and plants and yeah. and potting soil and That's what I'm going home to. Yeah. I have to repot a geranium and clean up the dirt and throw away the broken pot. I like that pot too I know, though. It was, like that was Ming, a nice pot. Ming China it was from the yeah. third dynasty. <laughs> it was a Ming dynasty days that we were using <laughs> to pot a geranium. It's gone now. That's why you just can't get attached to material possessions. Here's the geranium and the broken pot. Frugal Daddy blames the kittens for this. So yes, we're gonna replant that because I am keeping that geranium alive. In fact, she might just fit in right here with these begonias or impatience or whatever the heck I have in here. All right, so we're almost home. We'll go through this hall. At this point in the video, Frugal Daddy and I got into a long stream of consciousness conversation in the car, really long. So I'm gonna edit that out and just make it part of another video, a video all by itself. For those of you who enjoy Frugal Mommy and Frugal Daddy having conversations, there's some deep stuff in this conversation, I gotta tell you. So look out for that video, cause oh yeah, we went deep. But anyway, yes we made it home. I don't know, maybe we're just both feeling too lazy to unload the car and we just sat in the car for like half an hour, blah, 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 blah. I was kind of hoping Frugal Daddy would do all the unloading for me, but he said he had a headache. He took medicine, laid down on the sofa, and I unloaded the car. So, e -ant, whatever, let's go take a look at all the stuff we got from the Aldi dumpster, Save a Lot, and Big Lots. Here we go now, looking at the garbage. Does my face look a little bit bloated? I kind of feel like it does. All right, we've got these four boxes of mini chocolate donuts. Yes, there you can read the label. We've got our sharp cheddar, our blueberries, which obviously we all know are the berry that cares. Yay for rescued food. Yes, I would drive down the highway just for this. Oh, but wait, as you know, there's more. Okay, different dumpster, but thematically the same. I've got five boxes here of these chocolate, chocolate chip cookies. I wanna organize all the sweet treats first because I'm gonna put them right back in the car to donate tomorrow. We've got the powdered donuts. Good luck, frugal mommy, sneaking those away from your husband. We have several packages of eggs. We have those that look like they're in pretty good shape. We have these. There's a lot of broken egg goo, as you can see. So this all has to be washed. Obviously these styrofoam egg cartons can be easily washed. The cardboard ones, not so much. But we also save egg cartons from other dumpster eggs that we find when we find clean cartons. So we can wash the eggs off and just transfer them into cartons we've saved. Okay, here is the sum of the rescued eggs, all washed up. They're very, very happy. These are happy, happy eggs now. Oh, look at this. Organic coconut chia granola. Love this. I've never had it, but I know I love it. Damaged box, but perfect intact bag of granola. Look at those big chunks of coconut. Yum. We also have the pumpkin seed Pumpkin seed, yeah, that goes together. The pumpkin, seed, and flax. No, Amy, pumpkin seed and flax granola cereal. That's gotta be healthy, right? That looks tasty, that looks wonderful. Love granola, can't help that it's fattening with lots of fat and sugar, cause I love it. It's granola, it's got oats. So, I'm going to eat it. We've got the wild caught, beer battered cod fillets. Those look pretty. Darn good. I'm gonna pop these right into our new, and I mean new found in the trash. Uh, what am I saying? What am I saying? What am I saying? Toaster oven. Yes. A new product here from Mrs. Freshly. We've got donut sticks, which I've never heard of. Three packages of cream cheese, of course, with some egg goo. The boxes have popped open, but it looks to me like the packaging inside is fine. Sell by July 31st, 2020 sell by August 13th, 2020 and July 21st, 2020. So I think this cream cheese is gonna be good for quite a while. And yum, a delicious looking chocolate cake. I can't eat that, but I wish I could. We've got our chocolate almond milk. Honestly, what I needed was regular almond milk. I need the non-sweetened vanilla flavored Almond milk, oh mighty universe and eternal lord and all the powers that be. 
Mother Earth, please bring me the unsweetened vanilla flavored almond milk. But thank you so much. I am not looking a gift horse in the mouth. Thank you so much for this almond chocolate milk as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's just that I need the other kind for my coffee. All right, we've got more bananas, yay. Pretty good, not dented, not mushy, not even entirely ripe yet. And of course, the mushier, riper ones always get frozen for smoothies or banana bread. Something I haven't actually gotten in a little while now. Strawberries, yay. They look pretty good too, I don't see any mold. Here's Caesar salad kit, that looks good and fresh and crisp and delightful. Blueberry muffins, do dot, do do dot. Even marked down, I mean they do mark these things down and people are still not buying them. They look good to me though. There are our whole wheat tortillas. We've got the Twinkies and the Ho-Hos. In our conversation in the car, which is gonna be in a different video, Frugal Daddy and I chatted for quite a while about Twinkies. Oh, you don't wanna miss that. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, we got seven of these Santa hats that have this little design of these plastic Christmas lights. They're supposed to turn on. I'm not seeing them turn on, but then again, it's hard to tell in this light. The Snoopy cookie cutter, $5. That should be $1 from Dollar Tree. Ditto the National Lampoon Christmas Vacation Moosehead cookie cutter, five bucks really for that one little plastic cookie cutter. That should be, in fact, not even a dollar at Dollar Tree. I say two for a dollar at Dollar Tree because I mean, it's a little piece of plastic. I'm not that psyched about the moose, but I do love me some Snoopy. We got this cool headband with Christmas lights and the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer headband. We have these pine cones, they smell like cinnamon, big ones and little ones. A little gift box, a little decorative tree. I guess that's what that is. It's just a little decorative tree shape. And a little baby tree too. We got two of these shower curtain holders, you know, the, you know, shower curtain holders. We have four packages of these Christmas ornaments, three ornaments in each package that say fa la la and they have a little Santa hat over the A of the fa. I think those are actually pretty cute. Oh, oh, we have a second one of these. Of course, it makes sense that I would let my twins have them, though my first thought was, oh, Frugal Daddy and I can both wear them. I'm not sure if these are ornaments or gift tags. I think they're pretty cute. They're, it's a double-sided package. See? I like those. Oh! And actually, there's two packages of them. We got these Christmas balls. These are plastic. These would be good for an outdoor tree situation. Three packages of this guy. Three in each package. He's like a little Santa gnome helper guy. We have some ribbon here and more ribbon, some bows. We have nine spatulas and the one I like and want to keep is the Snoopy one because it likes Snoopy better than Mr. What's his name? Griswold? Chevy Chase. But Frugal Daddy loves Christmas Vacation. Loves that. Yeah, Clark. Clarkmas. Merry Clarkmas. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe we'll keep one of those for Daddy. We've got these two blobs of cheese. Definitely a blob shape. We've got all these mangoes. They are kind of soft. You know how they can become a pulpy mess inside when they're overly ripe, but whatever bits one can salvage if they are too mushy and overly ripe to, you know, just joyfully consume, one can cut up those bits and freeze them and use those in smoothies. I've actually, many times when I've peeled mangoes for my kids to eat the mangoes, I've saved the peelings and put those in my smoothie because I figure, well, they have nutrition in them and it's going to add some extra fiber. And I think it does. Our bottle of water. We find random bottles of water pretty frequently and that's definitely a good thing to have in the car for emergencies or, you know, washing your hands, which also can be an emergency. So from Save-A-Lot, we got this box of crackers. They're your Ritz type cracker, unsalted tops, which I know it's better for you, but personally I like the salt. The box is ripped, which I guess is why they can't sell them, but it's got all four leaves of crackers in there. It hasn't been opened other than it's, it's accidental rip. We have this box. A banana, a carrot, you remember the carrot. If we ever had some snow, it would be a good snowman nose. Apples, oranges, apples, oranges. What is this can? Mango nectar, yum. A couple of pears, not even ripe yet. And this box, which looks like it's got a bunch of produce that I'm not incredibly wild about. Those apples look fine. Shame about this kale. Would that we had goats or chickens. This might all just end up in the compost. We do have a friend who's got 
a rabbit and chickens. So I'm going to ask him if he wants these and we can just drop this off at his place. So I don't think rabbits or chickens want hot peppers. Okay. Yeah. I almost forgot to show you. I have this whole roll of these stickers that you put on packages for, you know, labeling them to mommy from Santa. Okay. How many of you guessed I'd be wearing this by the end of the video? Ha! Well, you guys guessed right, because I am. And doesn't it remind you of the Statue of Liberty? It's like if Lady Liberty and Santa had a baby. It would be me wearing this. Okay, so you awesome dumpsterinos, how much do I love you so much? Thank you so much for watching. Do all the stuff below that you know how to do, like clicking and thumbsing and commenting and sharing and, you know, the down below stuff. Until we dive again, my lovies, stay safe, stay sane, stay happy, stay frugal, stay frabalicious. That is not a real word. I have got to make lists of adjectives ahead of time. Stay out of jail, stay out of the asylum, as in season two of American Horror Story. Such a good show. Love season two, the asylum. What was I saying? And, um, okay, so don't end up there, but stay in the dumpster. Stay your fabulous selves. You know I love you, and I'll see you again next time. These are supposed to light up and turn on, but I think it needs to be dark out for us to see that and test it properly. Okay.